Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Whew. Come on, Jess. I reckon it's going to be another hot day. I'm bored. You can help me wash the Greendale rocket if you like. No, thanks. Meow. Morning, Nisha. Morning, Ajay. Hi, Pat. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Someone looks fed up. Mira's bored, Pat. She says she's got nothing to do. Julian's just the same. Never mind, Mira. I've got something to cheer you up. A postcard! Uh, for me? Whoops! <laughs> Oh dear, that's torn it. It's from Cousin Sanjay. Ah, he's at the seaside. Look at that bat, Sun San. Can we go to the seaside, Mum? What? You and Dad have been working hard all summer and I've got nothing to do. Let's go to the seaside. Hmm. Hmm. Problem, Ted? You could say that, Arthur. Well, that sand can't stay there, Ted. It makes the place look untidy. I know. Question is, how are we going to move it? I'm sorry, Mira. The seaside's too far to go for just one day. Oh? Never mind, Mira. I'm sure you'll find something else to do. Come on, Jess. Let's get back to work. Meow. Bye, Nisha. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. What's this? A sad face on a sunny day? That's not allowed. Mira wants to go to the seaside, but I've explained that it's too far. Who needs the seaside? There are lots of lovely places to visit around Greendale. How about a family picnic instead? Oh, Mira. I wish there was something we could do to help. Hello, what's going on here? Problem, Ted? Hi, Pat. We're trying to move this sun. Only pack. Yeah. <laughs> You'll not move much sand like that, Arthur. What else can we do? Good idea, Jess. Hurry up, love. Coming, Ajay. Green Rabbit wanted to come on the picnic too. <laughs> right then, let's go. 
That's it. Fill them up. We'll have that sand shifted in no time. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Reverend can help us. Are we nearly there yet, Dad? Come on, Ajay. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Come on. Thanks, Reverend. You know me, Pat. Ask and ye shall receive. I say, you've forgotten the shovel. Pat! Here we are. Thompson Ground. The perfect place for a family picnic. Oh, it's lovely, Ajay. What's that noise? I can't hear anything. No, me. It's getting louder. Hello there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lot. Ready, Ted? Ready as I'll ever be. Careful now, Pat. I can't bear to watch. Nearly there. Oh. No. Now what? Listen. That's Dr. Gilbertson vacuuming the surgery. That's it. But she's a very clean woman, is Dr. Gilbertson. I'm sorry I gave you a fright, but I'm afraid you can't have your picnic here. Didn't you see the beehives? We're building a proper stand for them when Ted Glenn gets here with the sand. Why don't you go up to Greendale Farm instead? That's a lovely spot for a picnic. What do you think, everybody? Greendale Farm? This vacuum cleaner should do it. We'll use it to suck up all the sand and then blow it back into the truck. Good idea, Pat. Are you sure it'll work? Of course it'll work. Dr. Gilbertson says it's a bit temperamental, but it should do the job. Just watch. Hi, Dad. Hello. What are you two doing here? I'm just taking Julian round to play at Charlie's. It's boring at home. Not another one who's bored. Lucy's been driving me up the wall all day. Mira's the same. She was desperate to go to the seaside this morning. If only there was something they could all do together. Maybe there is, Mum. Come on. Uh, Julian! Right then, everybody. Back to work. At last. Oh, I thought we'd never make it. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but all that walking's made me more hungry. Uh, Dad? Hi. Look behind you, Ajay, and to the sides. That's right, Charlie. I'll see you there. Oh, and don't forget to bring a bucket and spade. Oh, and tell Tom and Katie as well. What's going on, Julian? I'll tell you later, Mum. Lucy, hi, it's Julian. Go, you sheep. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. Dad! Don't worry, Mera. Everything's under control. Shoo, shoo. Go away, I say. 
जॉब What? He said. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to use my helmet after all. Oh. Oh, I never realized Green Dale was so high. Still at least there's no sheep. Let's just hope nothing else goes wrong, hmm? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Are you okay, Dad? If somebody could just help me with this. Dad! Oh, oh. The backpack. Oh dear. A picnic. Never mind, Pat. These things are sent to try us. Yes, and some of them try us more than others. Hello, what's going on here? Julian, I've brought some friends to play, Dad. Come on, everyone, dig in. <laughs> <laughs> Julian. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah. I'm sorry, Mira. Our day hasn't turned out too well, has it? The picnic's ruined, I'm afraid. Is there anything you like to do instead, love? No thanks, Dad. Let's just go home. <sighs> <laughs> This is loads better than being stuck in doors. It's like being at the seaside. Mira wanted to go to the seaside today. I've got an idea. Meow. Not far now, Nisha. This must be the most tiring day out ever. Listen. Oh, whatever's that? Something's happening in Greendale. Come on. Here, everyone. The guests of honor have arrived. Oh! Yay! 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 Well, what do you think of Greendale on Sea? It's wonderful, Pat. But this isn't all for us, is it? Why not? You wanted to go to the seaside, didn't you? Yes. Well, if the Baines can't go to the seaside, the seaside must come to the Baines. And Dorothy and I have decided the children can keep the sand. So I'm going to build them a proper sand pit. So we'll never be bored again. Oh, look out! Watch out! That's me helmet. Come on! Thanks, Pa. This is the best day out ever. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman.
worse than Pat And he's black and white cat All the birds are singing And the day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. There's a lot of parcels today. Hi, Pat. But it's all art supplies for the school and a few wee letters. Art supplies, eh? I always loved art at school. Oh, really? Yes, but not much call for artists in Greendale. Oh, I don't know. Oh, don't forget these letters. Bye, Pat. Cheerio, Mrs Goggins. Now, everyone, as you know, this afternoon all your mums and dads will be coming to school to look at your schoolwork. <gasps> Morning, Jeff. I've got your art supplies. Hello, Pat. Why, well, you're just in time. Come on, everyone. Let's take a look and see what we've got. <sighs> oh. Oh. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, why don't we do a special picture? What kind of picture, Sarah? Like the best thing that's happened to us all year. Yeah, or the most fun. Or the most exciting. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Good idea, Sarah. Ooh, what are you going to paint, Sarah? It's a secret. Oh. Right, come on, everyone. Let's get started. I'll be going then, Jeff. See you later. The most exciting thing that happened all year. I wonder what we'd choose, eh, Jess? Me? Meow. How about when we got stuck in the woods and had to camp overnight? Meow. Or that time you got stuck in the runaway kite? Meow. Yes, that was exciting, wasn't it? Is everything OK, Sarah? No, sir. My picture keeps going all wrong. Well, why don't you try a different sort of picture? How'd you been? Well, look. The twins are doing a collage. Oh. What's that? We're sticking things onto the paper to make a picture. Like cotton wool and things. This is looking great, you two. Is it a picture of you sledging? That's right, sir. Because the most exciting thing that happened to us was when Pat rescued us from the ice. We were sledging and our sledge went too far. I was really scared. Me too. But then Pat came to rescue us. He was really brave. Thank goodness for Pat. So that's what our picture is all about. But I don't know what to use for the pond. How about this paper? It's all shibbery like water. That's perfect. Thanks, Sarah. I think you're right, sir. Maybe a collage would be good. Oh. 
<laughs> morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. There we go. My, is this all the post? Yes, it's very quiet today. Tell me, Reverend, what did you like best about last year? Mm, well, I, I really don't know. I enjoyed playing the music for the circus. That was fun. <laughs> yes, wasn't it? Come on, Jess, stop playing with that bird. Bye, Reverend. Bye, Pat. Collage. Everything all right, Sarah? No, sir. I don't know what to draw. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Tis. Well, why don't you think about something that makes you happy and paint that? I mean, look at Bill. I'm doing a picture of when me and Pat were clowns. It was really exciting. <laughs> Everybody came to see us. And being clowns were brilliant. I want to be a clown when I grow up. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You were very funny. Oh, no. I've run out of purple. I can't finish it now. We can make purple. All you need is some red paint, add some blue, mix them together, and there you go. Purple. That's brilliant, Sarah. Thanks. Oops. Ugh. Morning, Ajay. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Thanks, Pat. Hello, Pat. Busy day? No, I've hardly delivered anything apart from some art supplies for the school. The children are drawing the best thing that's happened to them this year. I know what Mira would draw. Me too. Our, Our new, new house. house. The children have been so happy since we've moved here. We all are. Aren't we, Nikhil? <laughs> yes, that was definitely a good day. I'm still trying to decide what I'd choose. It's easy. It's the Greendale rocket every time. Ain't it, love? Yes, Ajay. You in that train? Well, I'd better get on. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Kids Art Supplies Greendale Primary School, Greendale. Whoops! Looks like I missed a parcel for the school. I better take it over right now. <laughs> Not much time left now. You need to start thinking about finishing your pictures. Is that the Greendale rocket? Yeah, it's my favourite thing. Really? Why? Well, because I found her. And I helped to paint the station. And best of all, I got to drive her. But there's something missing. I know what. You need smoke. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. Come on, everyone. It's packing up time. Bring your pictures over here if they're finished. I haven't even started. Well done, everyone. These are really excellent. Sarah helped, sir. I wouldn't have been able to finish it without her. She helped us too, sir. Did she? Well done, Sarah. You've been very helpful today. <gasps> Hello, everyone. <coughs> Hello, Pat. Back again? Yes, I found another parcel for you in the van. Here you are. Uh, my hands are a bit full. Can you unwrap it for us, Sarah? It's felt-tip pencil in shiny colours. Those are grand. 
You could make a lovely picture using those, Sarah. Hmm. Spots. I think I've got an idea, sir. Looks like that's done the trick. Poor Sarah's been wondering what to paint all day. <laughs> Goodness me, Charlie. What's that? It's the Greendale Bubble Monster. Do you remember? Oh, how could I forget? I've always wanted to see men from outer space. And then, when we saw one, it was brilliant. Except it turned out to be Ted. <laughs> Poor old Ted. I don't think he liked being the bubble monster much. Do you know, Charlie, I think I've had an idea for a painting. You don't mind, do you, Jeff? Why, no, Pat. Be my guest. Here you are, sir. I've finished. Goodness me, Sarah. That was quick. Let's have a look. This looks like everyone's got chicken pox. That's right, sir. Well, I don't understand. How can that be your favourite time, Sarah? Well, you said I was helpful. And I like the chicken pox best because I helped people. Don't forget to gargle. Sarah Gilbertson says don't forget to gargle. Sarah Gilbertson says don't forget to gargle. And everyone got better. I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up, just like Mum. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Right, everyone, home time. See you all later with your parents. Bye-bye, <laughs> sir. Can I go and play at mirrors, Dad? Yes, of course you can. I'll pick you up later. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Bye. Uh, don't worry about that, Jeff. Wait, are you sure, Pat? Yes, I've got an idea. Well, OK, then. See you later, Pat. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Parents' Evening. I'm sure you'll all enjoy looking at the children's work. Where are the paintings we did today, sir? I want to show Mum. Me too. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure. I can explain, Jeff. I spent a lot of time today trying to think what would be my favourite thing in Greendale. And then I realised. <gasps> wow, that's my painting. And my rocket picture. Me. But what's it supposed to be? It's a map of Greendale, Sarah. With all the pictures everyone did today. I don't understand, Pat. This is my perfect painting. A painting of Greendale. Ah! Everybody knows his bright red friend. 
all his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Morning, Ajay. Morning, Pat. Hiya, Julian. Hi, Mr. Clifton. Hello, Ajay. Hi, Mira. Oh, hi, Julian. Look what I found. It was on the ground just outside the cafe. Why, that's Dorothy Thompson's umbrella. Lucky you were here, Pat, or I'd have sent it to the lost property office in Pancaster. What's a lost property office? Well, if something gets lost on the train or at the station, it's taken to the lost property office. And it's kept there safely until the owner comes to get it. Could we have a lost property office in Greendale, Dad? Hmm. Maybe I should think about setting one up. Right. I'd better be off to the post office. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dad. Bye, Pat. Can we take Dorothy a lost property, Dad? Of course you can, love. Mind how you go now. Look, Mira. Dad bought me some new dinosaur stickers. They're some fantastic ones. <coughs> oh, Bonnie, do be quiet. She's lost her squeaky bone somewhere. <laughs> oh, dear. Well. Tell you what, Bonnie. I'll keep an eye out for it while I'm on my rounds. Oh, there you are, Bonnie. Pat'll find it. <coughs> Morning, all. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. And what can I do for you today? I've got a parcel to send, but it's coming undone at the end here. I'm not very good with sticky tape. Eh, uh, no, so I see. Uh, here's my sticky tape, Arthur. Use as much as you want. Thank you, Mrs Goggins. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oops. Oh, Pat, just one more parcel for you to take. It's for Amy. Hmm, it's a special delivery. She'll have to sign for it. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye, Pat. Bye, Arthur. Huh? Oh, Bye. hush, Bonnie. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I told you I wasn't very good with sticky tape. Oh, Arthur, here, let me help you. <coughs> Hello, hello, Mrs. Thompson. Thompson. Oh, hello, you two. What brings you here? I found this at the station. It's lost property. Pat said it was yours. Well, I never... I must have dropped it yesterday. Thank you, Mira. Dad was going to send it to the lost property office in Pencaster. Oh, I'm glad he didn't. I wouldn't want to go all the way to Pencaster just to pick up my umbrella. Dad might start a lost property office in Greendale. And I'm going to help him. But you haven't got any lost property, Mira. I know. But people are always losing things, aren't they, Mrs Thompson? Well, I certainly am. Here, have an apple each as a reward. Thanks, Thanks Mrs Thompson. Thompson. Bye. Bye. Meow. 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 Bonnie, what are you doing out on your own? I think she's looking for her squeaky bone, Jess. Come on, Bonnie. Let's take you home. Mrs. Goggins will be worried. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> hey, come out of there. I haven't got your bone. Let's get you home, and quickly. I've still got to get that special delivery to Amy. I can't believe you got two Tyrannosaurus Rexus in one packet of stickers. Well, I'll give you one of mine if you give me... Mm, a Stegosaurus sticker. Look! It's Bunny's squeaky bone. That's her favourite toy. But it's also lost property. It can be the first thing in our lost property office. When you flower, you'll make a lovely show, my beauties. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Julian, look! More lost property! How do you know it's lost? It might belong to Reverend Timms. Well, we could put it in our lost property office and keep it safe for him. OK. Then can we play with my stickers? Now, where's my trowel? Hmm, how very peculiar. Hello there, Pat. What have you got for me today? Well, I don't know what it is, but I do know it's heavy. Wait, it must be the new school books I ordered. <coughs> oh, no you don't, Bonnie. Back in the van with you. Sorry I can't stay. I'm in a hurry to get a parcel to Amy. Bye. Bye, Pat. Hmm. I can't manage all this at once. I'll have to make two trips. Look, Julian. Something else for the lost property office. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Oh, Pat, thank you so much for bringing Bonnie home. No problem, Mrs Goggins. Better rush. I've still got to get that special delivery to Amy. <coughs> hey, where's me shopping gone? Good morning, Jeff. Oh, hello, Reverend. Have you seen a bag of shopping? I left it out here a minute ago and it's vanished into thin air. My gardening trowel has disappeared too. Should we tell PC Selby, do you think? I think we should find him right away. Hello, Pat. Have you got my special delivery? I certainly have. Meow. Hmm. It's here somewhere. I put it in here myself. It's special medicine for one of the Pottage's cows. Daisy's really not well. It's gone. <gasps> what? Oh. Your parcel. It's gone. Oh, no. What happened? I'm terribly sorry, Amy. It must have fallen out of the van. Oh, dear. What am I going to do? Daisy needs that medicine today. Don't worry. I'll go and search in the village. Someone will have seen your parcel. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Would you like a drink, girls? Oh, yes, please, yes, Bob. Please. Look, Julian, more lost property. I bet they're Sarah's toys, Mira. This is her house. Sarah! Sarah! She's not here. We better look after them for her. All right. But then can we play with my stickers? <gasps> and what's that? Ew. 
It's a parcel for Amy. How did that get here? Never mind how it got here. It's lost, isn't it? Oh, the sooner we open our lost property office, the better. Come on. Hey, where's my ball? And my skipping rope. Someone's taken them. <gasps> Look. A packet of stickers. <gasps> it's a clue. Maybe the person who dropped these stickers is the person who took our things. You're right, Lucy. Come on, let's go tell your dad. I can't find my Stop! <gasps> One at a time, please. So I can write down everything that's gone missing. Someone's taken our toys! Oh, but look, we found these stickers on the ground where our toys were. Stickers? These stickers are a clue. That's what I said, Dad. That's my girl. The odour of these stickers must be the Greedale thief. I think those stickers belong to Julian. Your Julian would never take anyone else's things. No, he wouldn't. Not unless he thought they were lost. Lost property. I think I might know where all your things are. Come on. I can't find my spoon. There. Everything's ready. What happens now? We just have to wait for people to come and fetch their things. <gasps> Listen! They're coming already! Welcome to the Greendale Lost Property Office. Can we help anyone? Oh, my trusty trowel. My shopping. Oh, here's your squeaky bone, Bonnie. <laughs> That's my ball. And my rope. You shouldn't have taken our things away. Well... That solves the mystery of the Greendale thief. It certainly does. I'm sorry, everybody. We thought all your things were lost. We didn't mean to steal them. We were trying to help. My parcel. You found my parcel. Yes, it was on the road outside Sarah's house. Well done, you two. This parcel is some medicine for a sick cow at the Pottages. I'd better get there right away. Bye, everyone. We really did think we were being helpful, Dad. I know, love. So how do you fancy helping me set up a real lost property office for Greendale? Oh, yeah! Which reminds me, have you lost anything this morning, Julian? Uh, I don't think so. What about these? My stickers! Thanks, Dad. I'm really sorry about today. <laughs> Never mind, Julian. A lost property office is a good thing to have. I know, as long as the property really is lost. <laughs> 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 Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocked Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are 
Because it's Monday morning, Julian, and you have to go to school. But I want to go for a ride on the Greendale rocket with you. It's only a little round trip, Julian. Ajay's testing the engine and I'm helping out. Oh, come along, Julian. You always have a lovely time at school. Mm -hmm. oh. Have a nice day, son. Right then, Jess. Mm -hmm. All set for a day out? Morning, Ajay. Morning, Ted. Hello. Morning, Pat. So, what would you like us to do? Well, the first job we got to do is fill up the engine. Uh, we can use coal from the tender. <laughs> this is different from delivering letters, isn't it, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> if only Mrs. Goggins could see us now. <laughs> oh, well, maybe not right now. <sighs> Morning, everybody. My word, Pat. You look like a proper engine driver. <laughs> yes, it's my day off and Ajay's letting me help out. But I got a bit too enthusiastic when I was stoking up the engine. All aboard! All aboard! I see. It's rather nice going on a little round trip. We'll be able to sit back and admire the lovely Greendale countryside. Relax and enjoy the trip. <coughs> Why, this is grand, isn't it, Dorothy? Gorgeous. I brought some sandwiches and a bottle of orange aid. And I've brought a cream cake and a flask of tea. And we've got some homegrown strawberries. Well, <laughs> we're not going to get hungry on this trip. <laughs> the rocket's going well today. Uh, Ted, look at the water gauge. Should it be going down that quickly? By heck, we're running out of water. Oh, no. i better put the brakes on. What are we going to do, Ajay? We won't get far without any water. Why don't we fill up with river water? Good idea, Pat. But it will take a lot of water to fill this boiler. Hmm. Uh, perhaps our passengers can help. OK, everybody. Have you all got something to hold water? Yes, oh, yes I have. Right. Start filling. Sorry, Jess. I really wish I wasn't at school today, Mira. Why? What's wrong with school? My dad's gone off for a ride in the Greendale rocket and left me behind. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in the Greendale rocket today. <laughs> it's more fun here. <laughs> hey, what are the flowers, not each other?
There you go, Ajay. <sighs> Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Every little helps, eh? <laughs> Just a drop more should fill up the tank, Ajay. Well done, Vicar. It's full up. Every drop is safely gathered in. Thanks, everyone. Let's get going again now. All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> My heck! All that exercise has made me hungry. I think we should have something to eat. Well, I do have a cream cake we could all share. Hey, <laughs> cream cake and strawberries, eh? <laughs> you can't beat that. Goodness me, that was quite a jolt. Nothing to worry about, Pat. Just a set of bumpy points. Oh, 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 oh. oh my word. I wonder what my dad's doing on the Greendale rocket. <laughs> I bet he's not eating Lucy Selby's birthday cake. Look! Wow! Mmm, yummy! Mmm. We're making up time now. Aye, oh, we're fairly belting along, Ajay. Oh, no! No wonder we're making up time. We've left the passengers behind. What? By gum. Hey, up! Oh, they've left us behind. What are we going to do? We're lost and abandoned in the wilderness. Oh, the prodigal engine returns. Sorry about that, everyone. The pin slipped out of the bolt. It must have come out when we went over that last set of points. Can you get it back in, Pat? Uh, I, I, I think so. <sighs> Got it. Oh, hey, boy, oh, you well be a good Pat. train driver, I reckon. That was a tough one, Jess. This is my dad on the Greendale rocket. Do you still wish you were with him? No, this is much more fun. Oh, boo! <laughs> 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 we go. Ooh. You have to be fit if you want to be an engine driver. We've had quite a busy day. <laughs> well, nothing else can possibly go wrong now, Ted. <laughs> Let's hope not, Pat. Hmm, <laughs> pity about all this good food going to waste. Still, I managed to hang on to the cake. Would anyone like a slice? Oh, yes, please, Vicar. Oh, I'm starving. Let's get stuck in before something else happens. Ooh, look out! Hajay! Stop the train! Oh. Oh. Hey, up! Oh. oh, Alf! Forgive me. That was a bigger piece than I was expecting, Vicar. I wonder what's happened. Oh, no. What's going on? These look like my sheep. What are you lot doing here? 
How are we going to get them off the line? Don't worry. I'll move them. Clear off. Go on. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> I think Jess wants to help you. Bring them round, Jess. Good lad. Come by. Come by. Follow me. Well, we've got your sheep off the line, Alf. But what are we going to do with them now? We can't put them back in the field, Pop. Look! They've trampled down the fence. So they'll only get back on the line again. There's nothing else for it. The sheep will have to travel in the Greendale rocket. Dear. Well, at least the sheep are enjoying our strawberries, Alf. <laughs> All surrounded by my gentle flock. We'd better get this lot home. I'll give you a hand, Alf. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Thanks for an exciting day out, Ajay. <laughs> Even if it was a little unexpected. It didn't quite go according to plan, did it? All these things are sent to try us. Thank you for helping me out today, Pat. Sorry for all the disasters. <laughs> No problem, Ajay. I really enjoyed it. But it was a lot harder than I thought being a train driver. Wow. <sighs> Dad! Dad! I've had a great day. Mira and I played a brilliant splashing game. Then Lucy Selby gave me a piece of her birthday cake. Then I painted a picture of the Greendale rocket. And then I was the leader in Follow My Leader. Sounds like you had a much better day at school than I had in the Greendale rocket. What happened, Dad? What did you do? <laughs> well, first I got covered in coal dust, black oil and freezing cold water. Then the carriage got disconnected from the engine and then we got stopped by a flock of sheep which were blocking the line. <laughs> You're both mucky pups. Oh. What would you rather be, Dad? A postman or a train driver? <laughs> no doubt about it, son. A postman. It's much, much easier. Is there a letter?